G'day and welcome to Shooting News. Well, we've been up since four o'clock this morning and for one reason, we're looking for deer. It's the first day of deer season, 2012, and we've set ourselves a goal of finding some and bagging some venison. We found some after an hour or so and Alex set us a plan. Sun should keep at bay for a while with this misty cover so they might stay and feed a little longer than they normally would. We had probably 600 metres to stalk in on these deer, so at first we didn't have to be too concerned, but as we got closer, we were more careful, staying hidden as best as we could. The deer were pretty quiet. They'd moved down to a Karajong tree by the time we got fairly close, but they didn't look like they were gonna go anywhere in Ari. So we kept on stalking in and hoping our luck wouldn't change. Of course, it did. The deer decided to move on. I didn't know this, of course, because I was down in the gully, creeping up the watercourse, where I was well and truly out of sight. When I finally did pop my head up, no sign of the buggers. Nowhere. We decided to press on because we thought they might be over the next hill, and sure enough, bingo, there they were. They weren't too alarmed, but they were onto us, so I got myself ready really quickly and snuck in. The deer seemed content to sit and just watch, and I was lucky because I had tall weeds and a whole lot of other things to give myself plenty of cover on the way in. Got to a shooting position. Now that was a bit of a lucky shot because I reckon I pulled it, but I reckon the deer also jumped into it. But luck's always a good thing. Right on the shoulder. Just right on the shoulder and gone into the torso. That would have put it down nice and quick. Not even 8 o'clock in the morning. Beautiful, mate. That just left the butchering and the carrying out. We're pretty happy with ourselves. We'd set a tough ask to go and get a deer on the first day, and we walked out with a swag full of venison. And the rut hasn't even started. That is something we can't wait for.